Hello guys, welcome to another exciting video from our channel. In this video today, we expose the rap industry for what it is. But before we get down to the specifics, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Now let's get into it. We've been hearing a lot of the sexual abuse going on in the music industry, but also there are a lot of people who have opened up to expose what they have gone through in the music industry. The Victoria Derbyshire program has spoken to many women who have been sexually harassed and assaulted but were too scared to share their stories for fear they would never work in the industry again. Here are some of the abused women exposing the industry. Amy says she was groomed by her music manager. Sexual abuse and harassment is endemic in the music industry, with dangerous men abusing their power. The Victoria Derbyshire program has been told. Some victims are now speaking out for the first time. Amy was 15 when she was groomed by her music manager from one of the UK's largest music companies. I've been writing songs since I was very young and somebody emailed me and said he wanted to help me and manage me, she explains. Singer-songwriter, whose name we have changed, began working with the man and soon had chart success before everything went wrong. He told me that he was in love with me, and that if I didn't agree to be his girlfriend, he would ruin my career. Being a musician is all I ever wanted, and it was finally happening. It should have been the best time of my life, but it was actually the worst. One of the lucky ones. Singer-songwriter Chloe Howell felt exploited by a number of men at the beginning of her career. She was signed to a record label age 16 and later nominated for a Brit Award. I did have somebody came on to me in a pretty strong way, she explains. He was a lot older than me and we were meant to be professionally working together. I know women who have been raped in the music industry. He would drop me off at my hotel and then text me to say, why didn't you invite me in? I remember one night, he grabbed my bum and said something along the lines of, I feel like we'd have really good times in the sack. Yet despite the sexual harassment, she describes herself as being one of the lucky ones. I know girls who have been raped, and it's always a man in power and a girl on the rise who needs as much support as possible, whose career hasn't started yet. I know there are men who are getting away with it. They're given this untouchable power. Sex life. You'd be hard-pressed to find a woman working in the industry today who's never been a victim of sexual harassment or abuse, says Yasmin LaJoy a 29-year-old music manager. Yasmin LaJoy says that she's angry and things need to change. One woman who did decide to share her story after 20 years was Michelle DeVries, who has waived her right to anonymity. After landing a job abroad for a major music company as a young woman, she says she was made to stay with an older, more senior colleague who would repeatedly assault her. He would walk into my room with no clothes on. He would masturbate in front of me and say, I know you really like it, she explains. I felt like a sex slave. Rap music industry abuse. I felt like a slave. We went to a lawyer and were categorically told that he had committed a serious crime. But the lawyer said, if you report this, you will never work in the industry again. Michelle and her female colleague decided to resign. She says the man is still working in the industry, which has added to her resolve to speak out. I thought it was a hangover of the 80s and 90s, but it's very clear that this behavior is still going on and young women are being sexually assaulted still today. For Yasmin, Recent media revelations have not even scratched the surface. Sexual assault and abuse in the music industry is endemic, she says. UK Music, which represents the industry, said it takes any allegations extremely seriously and will always offer support and confidentiality to any complainant and do our utmost to guide them towards the help and advice they need. Yasmin adds that she has absolutely no doubt that there are people working in the industry today who should be in prison. She says, I am hungry and things need to change. There's so many amazing careers, it would be great to be able to encourage women to enter the industry without fear of assault, harassment, and rape. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe for more such exciting content and news about your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.